when I was a boy, I remember very vividly um, uh, uh, my teacher at school telling us, telling the school that a new era had dawned, uh, that suddenly this marvelous new substance called plastic had been invented and it was light and it was cheap and it could be used for a multitude of things. And though so that in centuries to come, you'll go back on the 20th century and say that was plastic period. He was truer than he knew. Because although it was all those advantages, the, the, the mere fact that it was indestructible meant that it was could not be thrown away. Plastic manufacturers happily said, once, once you've used this, throw it away, discard it. There is no away, because plastic is so permanent and so indestructible that when you cast it into the ocean, or indeed into your dustbin, it does not go away. So what exactly are plastics? Well, typically, they're organic polymers of high molecular mass, consisting of very long chains that are hard to break. Nearly all plastics come from oil and other fossil fuels. 8% of global oil production is for making plastics. Most materials change shape when force or temperature change is applied to them. This is called plasticity. Moldable polymers exhibit this property to such a degree that they are named plastics. Plastics can be separated into seven different types. Each type has a different makeup and different qualities. Chemical substances called additives give plastics their specific properties. These additives include flame retardants, dioxins, BPA and other chemicals that can leach out of plastic, contaminating air, soil and water. These chemicals can also leach into food and drink that are packaged in plastic. Some of these chemicals are a risk to human health, causing cancers and endocrine disruption. Studies have shown this affects fertility and causes development disorders in children. Plastic is very stable, moldable, durable and easy to clean. This makes it a very useful material. For example, it delivers great benefits to the medical profession as a cheap, strong material that is easy to sterilise. And even easier to throw away. And that's where the problem really starts. Because plastic doesn't break down like biodegradable materials. Its durability is its greatest asset, but also the reason it has become such a big environmental problem. When plastic is thrown away, it doesn't go away. It just breaks up into smaller and smaller pieces. And those pieces stick around for a very long time. Some plastic that was made over 70 years ago is still around today, in our landfills and the ocean. Once made, plastic is difficult to get rid of, if not properly dealt with. When plastic reaches the ocean, the sun's UV rays and salt water make it brittle. Thrown about by the ocean waves, plastic items begin to break into smaller and smaller pieces. Eventually, they become microplastics. Measuring just five millimetres or less in diameter, these tiny, abundant microplastic pieces make their way into the marine food chain and pose a serious threat to ocean life. Plastic itself is not the problem. It's our attitude to how we use it that makes it such a problem material. We need to change our throw away attitude. And we can start by using much less plastic in our daily lives. We also need to stop producing single use plastic items, ensuring that when we do use it, we have a good reason. We need 
better design and production methods to make sure that the plastic that we do use can be easily reused and eventually recycled. Or better still, upcycled. Because plastic can only be recycled a limited number of times, so upcycling it into something that is not designed for single use is a much better way to bring unwanted plastic items into a circular economy. This will ensure that any plastic that we use cannot make its way into the ocean. 